Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jacob here, back on a video. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm going to be going over the Menard, Mena RD versus Tokido matchup in Grand Finals. So, I got a lot of messages after the match saying, like, do you think this was a fluke? You know, can you make a video, you know, showing to the people that it wasn't a fluke that he won, that like, he really beat Tokido. And, and the, what I want to say in the beginning right now is that mm -hmm. I think Birdie beats Akuma in the matchup, anyways. He has. A lot of options to beat Akuma. Akuma has counters to Birdie's attempts, right? You know, it's good that Akuma got a little more help, right? It helped him a lot. It helped him a little bit in this matchup. He could take a little more risk, right? But he can still struggle depending on the, you know, what Birdie does. So the thing that was catching um, when Menor was losing, what was happening to him? Well, first, let me go over the crazy things that I kind of found out in the matchup. You know, that I found out in the match that I was watching. That was like, that really just confused me a lot. Alright, the first thing I want to go over is that. And when he was going for the jab into command grab, right? At first, I was like, okay, that's great. He punished the uh, Via Rosso. That's, that's crazy, right? It's already a block string. And the, the timing of doing that will already counter the V reversal, right? So, you know, at first I'm like, okay, he countered that. That's not a big deal. It's already a tick throw. That happens anyways. Even if he didn't V reversal, he would have been able to crush him, right? So that already takes away the, you know, knowing that. That takes away the part that he might have, you know, read that. You know, it might have not been a, a read. He was just going to go for that anyway. And he happened to get him in the reversal, so so Kido made a bad decision reversing something that slow. He probably thought he was gonna go for a heavy kick, cause heavy kick is a very re re reversalable button. He tried to go for a heavy kick, and it was easy reversal for most characters. Reversal, you punish Brady for going for heavy kick. The problem was is that it's not a good media option everywhere, like. When you do some, it's not a good media option, you know, to go for heavy kick all the time. So, Tokido probably shouldn't have reversed at that point, but I can't really, you know, talk about that. But what really boggled me, or really just confused me, was when he went for EX headbutt in V trigger, EX bullhorn. My fault. He went for EX bullhorn in V trigger against Akuma. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. He went for EX bullhorn, and what happened was. I mean, I don't think he's gonna do it early enough. Yeah, he didn't do it early enough. But there, it's zero. Like I, I tested out. I was like, what the heck? Like, if he happens to hit the the rear rush on the last hit, it will make it safe for both of them. It's like a zero situation. They're back in the neutral. But he did it early. The problem was that when he did it early, he he broke the the initial hit of armor that he did. That was on the bullhorn or like, yeah, but. His, I don't know, man. He just punished. It was very weird. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why he attempted it in the first place. If you're gonna try to bait out a V reversal, just go for what you did before. Was the jab into command grab? Why go for? You can do red command grab too. Why go for EX headbutt? Uh, EX bullhorn and V trigger. Like, and then when I. And then when, you know, a lot of people, when I was watching the the tournament or whatever, people were saying, oh, maybe he's just doing that to, to you know, bait out the DP. It punishes the DP, maybe. Then as soon as I tested that out, it does not punish the, the DP. It doesn't punish the DP. There was no reason for him to go for that. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me set it up. All right. Let me knock him down. Doesn't beat the DP. There was no reason to armor there. That's... I don't understand. That's what I don't understand. Why did he go for that? He only did it once, so the only thing I can think of... The only thing I can assume is that it was an accident. He probably was charging it. Let go of it by accident when he's trying to do something. He probably has his button set up a little differently, obviously, because the stuff that he's doing, he probably has his button set up differently. He probably maps out his buttons um, to make it easier to do certain things when you're charging a bullhorn. So he might let go by accident, and that happens. 
And most of the time he wasn't, when he baited a DP, he jumped over him. Most of the time. He never blocked it. He never stood there and blocked the DP. Most of the time. Like most of the DPs was him jumping over him. So he was going into a cross up on his wake up. And Tokido went for the DP. And that's when you saw that he kind of like just broke there. And he kind of just gave, like, gave him the match, you know. It was, he just got frustrated kind of and just went for it. Because he just wanted to, you know. He wanted the pain to stop, basically. You think about it like that. So yeah. And another thing he was figuring out when he was playing Tokido. He wasn't converting off of. Was Bullhorn. So... Already, you know, like it happens, you know, randomly. A lot of people don't pay attention though, because why pay attention to something like that? Why pay attention to that? Oh, I woke up Bullhorn, right? A move that's very unsafe to do on wake up. You know, it extends, it pushes me back when I go for it. Who the heck would, you know, who would expect, like, you know, any anyone to wake up with Bullhorn in the first place? And the problem is that it pushes him back. So think Borax can do it too. Like if they wake up tap, you hit them. What happens is that they get pushed back. So certain block strings don't work anymore. So it completely takes out the block string that someone did. Even if it was on counter hit. That's the thing. And the crazy part is he was doing it whenever he got a chance to bullhorn. He was bullhorning Tokido non-stop. And I don't know if he charges it twice. That's probably why he does it so much. Because most of his buttons are gone already. Because he's charging bullhorn. He charges two bullhorns at a time. So that just in case if you bullhorn somebody. He can do it again. If they try to attempt to do something that only bullhorn can go through. And that's a very smart thing to do. But you are losing a lot of buttons. So you're going to basically feel like that's like a button. Like oh let me just let go. You know what I mean? Then it becomes something that you figure out can get through this and get through that. He didn't start converting until later on. When he started coming back. And seeing that he could convert. Because Tokido was going into the string. And he was able to punish Tokido for doing it. So he was getting out for free. He was getting out of Tokido's pressure for free. By just bullhorning on wake up. And whenever Tokido grabbed him. He bullhorned out of the grab. You can grab the bullhorn, but he wasn't timing it uh, meaty like his grab. He wasn't timing it perfectly so that he can grab the bullhorn out of it. He was at a perfect range so that the bullhorn, when he woke up, moved back in perfect position for the, the throw to not hit him. And it was so like crazy how that was working out so much. Honestly, I'm not going to say that Venor shouldn't have won the match, but this is crazy that this was starting to work on Tokido and he wasn't seeing it. He didn't see it fast enough. He had so many chances, he didn't take a break. He didn't go to the character select screen, he just kept playing. Because he didn't realize that, you know, something so weird as this was working on him. And the problem about Bullhorn is if it worked, if you get hit by Bullhorn, you get Oki off of a Bullhorn. That's another thing. You get, you know, Oki off of Bullhorn. So, you know, if you end most of your combos in Bullhorn, you get Oki off of it, right? So that's the thing. He's using a, a move that's working on Tokido as a defensive option and is giving him an offensive option too. So that's the thing. His defense is giving him offense and his defense keeps working, which is the Bullhorn. So he literally worked off of that move the entire time he was doing it at the most ridiculous times like like i went up like basically tokido would do like a normal block thing like it's a feature again he would still go for <laughs> the bullhorn he would still go for it even though it's a plus crazy plus situation that little micro step tokido gave him to like he didn't trap him you know he took a micro step to get like the the block string because for most characters it will work they have to hold the pressure right they can't just pull their hitbox <coughs> they can't just pull their hitbox back and be able to just mess with someone's block strings like that hold on let me drink a little bit of water they can't just pull their hitboxes back I don't wake up that is so weird that's literally the problem 
Nah, I don't. Well, I, they probably should nerf the bullhorn. I'm not gonna lie. The bullhorn is a very crazy option right now. I'm glad they're nerfing tap, but they didn't nerf what needed to be nerfed on tap. The problem wasn't that it was plus. I mean, it was that you could make it really plus, obviously. Obviously, but it was also hard to get rid of tap. You couldn't punish it. You felt like you couldn't even do anything about it. And you had to hit low, but sometimes when you hit low, it was still miss. Borog. Because he moved back. So you had to mash lows in situations where you didn't want to mash a low. Why do I have to just throw out a low a bunch of times, risking myself to get punished by a character that does a lot of damage? It doesn't make sense for me to do that. That's why I don't understand why it's upper body invincible or have all this invincibility when it does so much. I mean, it's negative, great, but he can still use it just the way Bir uh, Birdie can use his bullhorn. And it's not as punishable. I'm surprised they don't use it. I'm telling you, if a, a, a Borog player could wake up tap and have the same properties as and do the same thing and punish somebody just the way uh, Birdie did. With a, a move that a, that moves his hitbox back. You see what's going on. It's... it's that's the problem. He's getting out of pressure for free. Even if he did jab, went into bullhorn, he's holding it twice, so he probably would have went into it anyways. You're going into your blockchain, you're thinking everything's okay. The only time Tokido punished him was when he went for something a lot slower and it just caught the bullhorn. But most of the time, he didn't even catch him. It was just pressure that, that Menard had to hold, like in the corner. That was the only time uh, he was winning. Most of the time, he would just go for bullhorn anyways. You can grab the bullhorn if you try to wake up with it, but... And then the, the worst part is he had so much damage on top of it, so it made it, like, almost, like, okay to do it. Hey, I'm gonna hit him anyways, right? Not a big deal, right? Because I got so much damage. I hit him once, I get OP, right? I touched him once, and he's dead. Basically. I dropped the... But I touch him once, he's basically gonna die. He's gonna get stunned. And Toki or Okuma has two options. He's gonna DP, or he's gonna wake up, but or block or whatever, right? And he just kept pressing him whenever he felt like he might have DP'd. He just go for like maybe like a slow block swing and kind of like make a micro step. But whenever he was in V trigger, it made it a lot worse, because the fact that it has armor, it has Oki. He gets Oki off of his bullhorn. It has armor. He gets Oki, and he does a lot of damage off of a command grab. He gets more damage in V Trigger as well. That's the problem, right? That's what makes him really strong. He gets Oki off of a bull, right? He had to get the DP there, right? But when he when he gets it, he would just like that. And he would go into bullhorn too. He would go into bullhorn again because he knew he had Oki off of it anyways. See like if you punish him. Going to born, could you get OP again, right? I know I set him up DP all the time, but yeah, you get OK anyways off of it. That's the thing. Get OK off of it, right? After the um, after commander, he didn't go for anything crazy too much. He did sometimes guess right after commander, but most of the time after he command grabbed him, he left him there and just played like the the neutral game. He he made it hard to read. Um, he made it hard for Tokido to read when he was going to sweep because he would mix in a couple of jabs before he would sweep or he wouldn't do jab at all I mean he wouldn't sweep at all and then wait for Tokido to try to jump in and anti him and go for you know his block screen it, it's a decent block screen it works even though it doesn't hit low it's just made to try to get you to jump after this you know it's very good he does a lot of damage that's the problem, and he can just throw out sweep against Kuma. Kuma can't punish sweep. That's the thing. That's another thing. I mean, you do gotta realize that he did make it really far in Capcom Cup in the first place. He did beat his bad matchups. He did beat a Kami. He did beat Yurian. Right? He beat Nemo, yes. He did beat a Yurian. He did beat very hard matchups in the beginning. Nemo could have played the lame game against uh, Birdie most of the, you know, for the most part. Because Birdie cannot deal with. Um, uh, Urian's uh, zone pressure. So that's another thing that 
because Nemo is a very aggressive player in the you know he tried to attempt to try to challenge uh, Birdie and got himself caught in a bad position because you're challenging Birdie you know it, you can't really challenge Birdie with the four frame and all that he could bullhorn through most of his strings too but that's a different matchup he did go through bad matchups and he was able to deal with them right so I can't say that he's like you know he just got lucky because he did beat a lot of good players he beat Xian you know, that's not a, such a bad matchup as well, but still, he beat a lot of people. He did deal with his bad matchups, right? And, you know, got to give him credit for that. But some of the decisions that he made were very questionable. But he was able to come back so many matches because of that, just bullhorn. And the Oki that he got off and the damage. He went into V-Trigger, hit him a couple of times, and he was dead. Literally, like, I've seen it. Multiple times, he just went for bullhorn. It was crazy. Like Tokido was trying to get him with pressure. So this is almost exactly what. This is almost exactly how it went. So he was done basically. Tokido had him in the corner, and he was just pressuring him in neutral. Right? I think he went for a demon flip, just to try to like pressure him a little bit. He just went for a demon flip, or he tried to jump in for some reason in the corner, and he went for a bullhorn and got hit. Like at the like the perfect angle for him to cancel into like V trigger, right? And then you go into camp, right? Pressure him. He would throw fireballs to keep him away until he got close, right? Throw fireball, throw fireball, and then he got in. Went for a command grab. He had to guess. Go for a jab like that, and just keep pressuring him. He was holding bullhorn at all those moments, getting ready to bullhorn him. Whenever Tokido jumped in, got a jump in on him. He he would bullhorn. His block string, Tokido will always go for um, like a cross up into crouching medium punch, right? I mean, no, he wouldn't expect him to just go for it like that. Like he he went for like cross up or whatever. Uh, a little too fast, I won't be able to activate. He went for a cross up, right? Simple block string after cross up. Maybe try to go for throw after, because he he just didn't know what to expect. Hold on. My bad. Now I'm messing up. Simple. I mean, I don't, I don't do this. Why I'm not used to just like bullhorn after someone crosses me up. And it gives them Oki. That's another thing. Even if you back row, it still gives them Oki. That's another thing. He gets Oki off of a bullhorn. Everything works around Bullhorn. It's his defensive option and an offensive option. It's a very brutal move. Bullhorn. Like, are you serious? Like, I... I use it as a joke. Like, I made a whole video about the Bullhorn. You know, just showing you the properties and stuff like that. But I didn't really expect it to really be what makes... What made Menard D win his matches. Like, I'm not saying that he's good. He did, you know, go for the X Dolphin Dive, right? He, you know, it's a little, like, it's a random thing to do, right? You just go for it, right? It's very punishable. It's very risky. You do get reward off of it, though. He went for this. Most of the time, he went for the EX Headbutt because he had V-Trigger. Because he could go for it. But when you go for it regularly, Akuma could punish it because it's, it's punishable now. The EX Headbutt. So, that's not a problem. I wasn't mad that he caught Tokido with the EX Headbutt. You gotta know he's gonna go for that. Yeah, you, you know he's gonna go for it if he has V-Trigger. He has to make it safe. He can't just go for it and then just like, you know, yeah. He, this is, if he catches you, he gets a full combo. He gets okay. Depending on what you do, though. Depending on what you do on Wake Up. Now, you can confuse Birdie players by doing different uh, Wake Ups. Because that obviously confuses Birdie player. If you do a normal Wake Up or Back Roll, Birdie has certain options against what you're gonna do. So it is a guess too, like, because he doesn't know what you're going to do on Wake Up. You don't know what he's going to do on your Wake Up. So that's a 50-50 in itself. If he's going for something slow all the time when you back row, try to wake up normally. Because if he goes some slow, you're going to interrupt him. Simple thing to do against that, right? And then another thing he was doing was catching him off guard with, like, a lot of gimmicks. Like, you know, birdie gimmicks, for example, um, the... The chain grab or whatever. He caught a lot of people with this, right? 
Tokido was able to figure out what to do because Akuma could stay in the air with the EX Fireball, right? That was really cool. That was a very good idea. That was very godlike move from Tokido. <laughs> the problem is no one's punishing it because no one expects someone to do it. Now you don't react to this. You don't react to this move right here. It's not that slow. You can punish it only if you're ready, but no one stands still when Bury does this. No one's gonna stand still when Bury does like a this blocking right here. Because he's not done with his block string. Bury's not done when he does this. Like, Bernie has like multiple hitting block strings to stop you. So if you even attempt it, he can do it again, like right there. So he can he can keep going into the 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 chain grab. That's the problem. So you're not ready to to punish that. And if you're trying to OS to try to throw him, because you can throw him out of it. If you're sitting there too long, you can just, you know, walk forward, command grab you. Simple as that. It's very, very, it's very, very, like, just hard to think about. Very, very hard to think about. You know, I went over the bullhorn, right? Like how, if you, yeah, someone does a string, it, it pulls you back and you can punish somebody if they're committed into a string already. He didn't see it until late. That's why he was starting to come back from it. Because he saw it later on. Hey, this is starting to work. Let me punish him now. And let me just do it more. Because it's working. Let me just do it more. Do it more. And so Kiryu started getting punished by it. And then just eventually he started breaking down Tokido. Because Tokido was doing a lot to push Bury down. And then he would do a bullhorn. And he tried to grab Birdie, bullhorn him. Go into a lot of damage. Go for 50 50, you know. He would go into certain block chains, walk forward, literally disrespecting him like crazy. He was disrespecting uh, Tokido. He would literally just do this, walk forward like a good, like, like, like three steps and then command grab him. Like, he was not scared of Tokido. He kept command grabbing people. And the damage that he gets off of a command grab and V trigger is so much. It does a lot of stun that he can come back on Akuma very easily just for making the simple mistake of watching out for a very unsafe move or you think that's unsafe you try to throw him out of it, nope get born no, maybe back row, most of the time he back row so he was ready for the back row and he'd go for some risky, like, uh, you know, go for the, the chain grab or whatever to confuse him and go into EX uh, headbutt very crazy risky stuff that he was going for but it was working it was working and it was throwing Tokido like off very quickly Tokido kind of toned down when he got the 2-0 like you saw him like kind of get a little bit like like he caught it like he felt like he was gonna win he kind of got that like that, oh crap it's you know it's about to happen all I need to do is win once and it was very sad though that he, that it, he came back like that I mean I I wanted you know, I didn't care who won. You know, it, I'm glad that Mena won, but at the same time, it is a little tough. And this game, I feel like, doesn't allow someone to be able to win consistent tournaments like that. This game is too, it's too like, I'm not gonna say 50-50, but, but it kind of is. Obviously, it is like more of a 50-50 game. That's why you don't see someone consistently winning tournaments. There's no one that really like wins tournaments like that like punk yeah he won a couple tournaments in a row but like you can't win consistent tournaments like that like no one can in this game this game is too rough with 50 50s that it, it makes it really hard for someone to really dominate every single tournament like that so it's just very hard it goes to show you look at the top eight like it, it was mostly unexpected like no one really expected a lot of the people that were in top eight maybe some of the players that were there but for the most part no one expected him in rd man no one expected a birdie player to make it there but he did it with the old-fashioned bullhorn it's a very strong move and i th that's kind of like it like i he it did you know a lot of other stuff did happen when when he was like punishing the beast reverse and stuff like that but I don't know if that was real oh yeah not they want to go over yes uh, why not go over that earlier so if Tokido wanted to keep pressuring him in the corner he should just kept going for the stuff that was working if he wanted to just lame him out you gotta lame birdie out that's just the way it is that's how you fight birdie you have to lame him out 
to the fullest. No matter what character you use, lame him out with all your lamest tactics. That's the only thing that's gonna work against Birdie. As soon as you try to get a little, you know, different, he's gonna get hit by the stuff because he's waiting to get you with it. He doesn't, you know, I mean, he doesn't have anything to really lose because he does so much damage, you know, off of it, but yeah. So this move right here is very plus. I don't know why Tokido just didn't keep trapping him, like with this move. So this move is like plus three. It has to be like plus three because when I blocked it and I press a button, I'm still blocking. I'm still in block stun, depending on how low he did that. I'm still in block stun. Okay, I got hit there, but I've been block stun for a while. He can like literally do a medium punch, maybe crouch fierce. Like, let me test it out. That's crazy. That was a very, very like crazy like blocking they brought out let me see if that actually works if i try to okay okay you can't do that okay you can do a medium so it's like plus three or something or plus plus yeah it's like plus three it's like plus three or plus two that's crazy that's like a plus three move and if it happens like that then that's even more plus yeah you saw how, like it hit rapidly like that because that was yeah, look at that. That's ooh, that's plus as hell. Holy crap! Wow. And he was doing it at a like a good like timing so that yeah, wow. That's, yeah, yeah, it's plus three. It's plus three on block. That's crazy. I don't know why he didn't force Menard with that block string. I would have done that as many times as I could against him. And honestly, if you think about it, what do you think would have happened? Let me see. What do you think would have happened after that? He would have freaking bullhorned, right? And look at how much pushback that that the um the the block had because I bullhorned. Look how far he is. Now he can't. Now he's like, what the heck? Why am I so far? I know this usually works, you know. Like you think, like what the hell? Why am I so far from Birdie now? He did a bullhorn, and somehow I I got pushed back for hitting him out of his bullhorn. I got pushed back away from him. Now I can't do a block string. Now I'm away from Birdie. Now the Birdie player can just throw out a normal on me because I try to walk forward because I'm I'm trying to combo, thinking that I maybe might have been too far. So let me just go for a normal block string, and I get hit in the face by a medium punch into bullhorn. Get hit in the face because you walk forward because you're like, wait, what? just happened you get hit boom now you're on the floor not knowing what the heck just happened and you don't know how to deal with it because you're in a tournament you can't just be like oh let me go to a training room in the middle of a freaking tournament oh yeah let me go to training room to test out how to beat this and another thing is Tokyo doesn't have anybody helping him really like Tokyo's you know he's a demon you know he's like he, most of the time he plays by himself he doesn't really get anybody to help him with anything Menard, he got a lot more support, you know, because, like, yeah, he got way more support in Menard than uh, Tokido. Yeah, the, the Lion Court, I guess, you know, is a, it's a little more like, you know, it's different, you know, it's different. Japanese is more like, um, I don't know, professional, I guess. But still, like, he had better support than Tokido. Tokido was more like, you know, like, separated. I guess they, they kind of use their phones and stuff like that. To like figure out tech and stuff, but for the most part, men are had way more like uh, help with like you know anything. I'm happy for men are though, but still like that's crazy that that option did does so much. I think I don't know what's gonna happen to it. Like I'm pretty sure Bird's gonna get a nerf now. That it, it has to. It's probably gonna be guaranteed. Cause who won the last Capcom Cup? It was it was Armika, right? And she got nerfed to to crap. Uh, not to crap, she's still good, obviously. She still got really good block strings for the 50s. But it took away her, um... Her, her option to just deal with everything. And it was safe. Which was her clap. Birdie has an option, even though it wasn't safe, just like the bullhorn. That option was a move you can just throw out, because you knew that once you got the clap, that it was lights out, if you have really good setups. So it was almost the same concept as Birdie's bullhorn in the situation. It's another good move that he abused to get out of certain situations to win the the game. And Tokido didn't know what the heck to do because it was such a, such a move that you just couldn't deal with so quickly. 
but Menno did have good blocking. He did command grab him. He did make good reads. You know, most for the most part, he did make good reads. He had good reactions, right? They were there, but the craziness after that did did make him win. There was a method though. He made it work, right? It is a crazy thing. I understand. He is he's going crazy with those things. Like he he's crazy that he's bullhorning. But the fact that it's working is the reason why he's doing it. You can't blame someone for doing something that's that's working. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, but in that case, it was a pretty broke move to do. It kept working, so he just went for it. I you can't blame him for doing it. If anybody was in his shoes, they probably would did the same thing. Something's working. You're gonna do it more often because it's working. So that's just the way it is. You know, it it, it beat Tokido. Tokido. It, it, he could have made a lot of right decisions like when Menor went for like the full slide, you know, those those little things did make a difference That kind of broke down Tokido because you know, he, he did go for a random bull slide there That was a very risky move that he did there. It's very punishable and that kind of kind of that could have tilted Tokido so It's just so many things that happened that could have tilted Tokido to cause him to just keep doing the same thing because he was He was just like confused like like I'm I'm losing right now but I don't understand why and he's, he's doing the same thing because he's on tilt so he's, he's going back to what was making him lose and because he doesn't know what deck to do to that will work he doesn't know how to deal with it so and it's funny how Daigo actually had an option to deal with it or not really an option that was just something that he was doing but it was working right so four fears from Gao beats the bullhorn even though Daigo didn't know that 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 was an option he was normally doing that on his own media. I don't know why. Very confusing, but yeah, he it was working on the bullhorn. So the fact that you have to have certain block strings against, like I said in, my, in past videos, I haven't said that that you need to have certain block strings against Birdie, because there are certain block strings that that work very differently for Birdie, and it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys for. For taking time to listen to me talk about this I know you, you guys wondering you know just how how the heck do you win and um it, it's crazy he did do a lot of stuff that that was crazy but it worked so I can't blame him so yeah that's it for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment if you have any questions about the like the video you know and just you know give me you know how you feel or whatever and yeah, that's it for this video. I am out. Goodbye.